Hey everyone, I'm Max Dalton, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to use Facebook Marketplace. Facebook Marketplace is a great tool for either looking for items for sale by other people in a specific geographic region or posting an item for sale in a specific area. Additionally, Facebook Marketplace lets users rate other users as buyers and sellers, which can help you determine if you want to do business with those people. Also, Marketplace lets you easily reach out to buyers or sellers through the Facebook Messenger app and check out that person's Facebook profile. Facebook Marketplace also offers a very user-friendly interface that makes it easy to navigate the app. This video will focus on how to use Facebook Marketplace in the Facebook app for iPhone, iPad, and Android devices. First, let's look at how you can access Facebook Marketplace. You can quickly get to Facebook Marketplace in the Facebook mobile app by tapping the menu icon in the lower right corner of your Facebook home screen and then tapping Marketplace on the next screen. Now we'll walk through the Facebook Marketplace search tab. If you're coming to Facebook Marketplace looking for a specific item, you'll want to tap search in the row of buttons along the top of the app. This will bring up a search marketplace bar where you can enter what you're searching for and then tap search to generate a list of results. In the results, the only information you'll be shown for items will be the picture and price. However, you can tap on any of those items to see the seller information, which includes a link to their Facebook profile and seller rating, a detailed product description, and the seller location. If you're interested in the item, you can tap the Ask for Details button to send a quick message to the seller asking if the item is still available. Alternatively, you can tap Messenger to launch the Facebook Messenger app and send your own custom message to the seller. Additionally, you can tap Save to add this item to your saved items list, which we'll discuss later. If you need to either modify your search location or radius, you can do that from the search results page as well. Just tap the location icon and radius information in the upper left corner of the search results page and then you can either choose to enter a city and state combination or a zip code to use as your location. At the bottom of the change location screen, you can use the slider to adjust the radius around that location where your searches are performed. Additionally, you can tap to turn on the toggle at the top of the screen to get notified whenever a new item shows up in this specific search result. Finally, you can tap filters in the upper right corner of the screen to filter your search results by price, the date listed, the category, and more. Now let's walk through the Facebook Marketplace Shop tab, which lets you do a more general search. Tapping Shop on the Facebook Marketplace home screen brings up a list of high-level categories for Facebook Marketplace items. This includes vehicles, home and garden, electronics, classified, clothing and accessories, and more. Some items have subcategories, such as electronics, which has subcategories of electronics and computers, and mobile phones. Tapping to go into any of these categories or subcategories will take you to a screen that lets you scroll through all of the items currently available in that category. Again, you can tap the city and radius in the upper left corner of the screen to go to the change location screen where you can change the search location and radius associated with the results you're seeing. Next, we'll look at the Facebook Marketplace Cell tab. Tapping the Cell tab brings up a high-level menu with options for items, vehicles, housing for rent, and jobs. Tap the item associated with what you want to list for sale. The option you select will determine the information you're asked for in the form. For example, if you choose to sell an item, you'll be prompted to add photos, supply a title for your item, select a price, choose an item category, set your location, and give a description of the item. After filling out the form, your item will now be listed and discoverable in Facebook Marketplace search results and interested sellers will reach out to you. Finally, we'll take a look at the U tab in Facebook Marketplace. Tapping U brings up the U screen. Tapping Marketplace Profile brings up your Facebook Marketplace profile, which shows you how many followers you have on Facebook Marketplace and also shows your ratings as a seller and your ratings as a buyer. 
These ratings are important because if these ratings are bad, people may choose not to do business with you. Next, you can tap Inbox, which brings up a screen where you can tap to see all of the conversation threads associated with a specific item you either listed as a seller or expressed interest in as a buyer. The next option in the You screen is Your Listings. This is where you can go to see all of the items you've listed on Facebook Marketplace, whether they are still available or you've marked them as sold. Tapping the ellipses to the right of any items brings up a menu where you can quickly change the status of those items. Available statuses include marking an item as available, marking an item as sold, or marking an item as pending. Additionally, you can also choose to delete an item from here. The next item on the You screen is Saved, which is where you can see any items you chose to save while you were searching what was available on Facebook Marketplace. Finally, you can tap Following to see a list of any search results you chose to follow and receive notifications for. Congratulations! You now know how to use Facebook Marketplace. Thanks for watching. Leave your thoughts and questions in the comment section below. If you liked what you saw here, click the video link on the right side of the screen to check out another video, or click the logo on the left side of the screen to subscribe to this channel to see more great videos like this one.